The blue dot seen in this picture is Earth, photographed from Saturn. This iconic image, the day the Earth smiled, was captured by the Cassini spacecraft in 2013. Hello and welcome to ZE. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Cassini spent 20 years in space, traveling about 8 billion kilometers and completing 294 orbits around Saturn. From diving through the space between Saturn and its rings to visiting the planet's icy moons, the Cassini-Huygens mission was full of daring assignments. Gas giants such as Jupiter and Saturn hold the secrets of the early solar system, and sending a spacecraft to explore these planets is an art in itself. To date, four spacecraft have visited Saturn, and out of these, Cassini was the only one to orbit the planet. The rest were flybys. However, the space probe's mission was full of adventures. And today I'm going to take you on Cassini's incredible journey to Saturn. So fasten your seatbelts. On October 15, 1997, Florida's skies were illuminated by the fiery exhaust of a Titan 4B Centaur rocket carrying the Cassini spacecraft. But Cassini wasn't the only passenger. It was accompanied by the European Huygens probe, which became the first human-made object to land on a world in the distant outer solar system. Cassini Huygens was one of the largest interplanetary spacecraft ever built. The entire space capsule had a launch mass of 5,000 kilograms, making it challenging to reach Saturn in one shot. Due to this, the heavy spacecraft had to perform multiple gravity assists to increase its speed. Hence, Cassini met several solar system bodies in its voyage to Saturn. Almost six months after its launch, on April 25, 1998, Cassini performed a flyby of Venus, followed by another one in 1999. These flybys provided enough momentum for the spacecraft to cross the asteroid belt. But after the Venus flyby, the Sun's gravity pulled the space probe back into the inner solar system, giving the spacecraft a chance to revisit its home planet. Cassini made a gravitational assist flyby of the Earth almost two years after its launch. It was a risky encounter given the amount of radioactive fuel present in the craft. During this flyby, Cassini took several photographs of the Earth and the Moon to calibrate its cameras. This was also the first image captured by the mission. The Earth flyby boosted the spacecraft's velocity by 5.3 kilometers per second, enough to escape the Sun's gravitational pull and move towards its final destination. Following this, Cassini became the seventh spacecraft to cross the asteroid belt. Finally, on December 30th, 2000, Cassini made its closest approach to Jupiter. It took about 26,000 images of the gas giant, its faint rings, and its moons during the six-month flyby. Moreover, Cassini produced one of the most detailed global color Jovian portraits available to date. Furthermore, the image of the planet's volcanically active moon Io with Jupiter in the background is a beautiful moment captured by Cassini. Music after a successful Jupiter flyby, Cassini set itself on a course to its final destination, Saturn. However, it wasn't merely a plane journey but a ride consisting of a series of experiments and tests. One of the highlights of this ride was the verification of Einstein's theory of general relativity. In 2003, mission scientists measured how radio waves sent from Earth to Cassini and received back again were deflected by the Sun. In addition, they measured how the round-trip time changed due to the motion of the Earth and the spacecraft. Eventually, the data provided by Cassini firmly supported Einstein's general theory of relativity and helped improve the existing accuracy to about one part in 51,000. After traveling for a few more months, Cassini made its final approach to the ringed world in February 2004. And here began the League of Astonishing Observations of Saturn's system. The Cassini-Huygens mission discovered seven new moons orbiting the ringed beauty. On June 11, 2004, Cassini flew by the moon Phoebe. Images taken by the space probe revealed parts of the heavily cratered surface of Phoebe shining brightly. 
The photos suggested that a large amount of water ice probably exists under its immediate surface. Finally, after seven years of journey, Cassini reached Saturn, achieving its required orbit on July 1, 2004. This made Cassini the first spacecraft to ever orbit Saturn. A day after its orbit insertion, Cassini had its first flyby of Saturn's largest moon, Titan. During this phase, the probe collected numerous pictures of Titan's lakes. On December 25, 2004, Cassini released the Huygens probe to study Titan. Huygens entered the atmosphere of Titan on January 14, 2005, landing on solid ground after a two-and-a-half-hour descent. As Huygens landed on Titan, it revealed that the moon had entire seas of methane. This was the first discovery of lakes existing anywhere besides Earth, making Titan a deserving candidate to be on the list of potentially habitable worlds. Although scientists are still figuring out the origin of the enormous methane, there is a possibility that Titan's seas may host living organisms. Huygens was designed to gather data for a few hours in Titan's atmosphere and possibly a short time on the surface. Instead, it continued to send data for about 90 minutes after touchdown, and we never received a signal from it after that. While Huygens' chapter ended on Titan, Cassini continued exploring Saturn and its moons. Cassini now had eyes on the iciest moon of the solar system, Enceladus. The spacecraft discovered a deflection in Enceladus's local magnetic field and observed water ice geysers erupting from the icy moon's south pole. The probe made multiple flybys of Enceladus, indicating the presence of an internally salty ocean in contact with the moon's rocky core. Along with probing Enceladus, Cassini discovered oxygen on Dion and hydrocarbons on Hyperion. The mission also found that the dark patches on Iapetus' surface were due to heating caused by the Sun, thereby solving a 300-year-old lunar mystery. Over years of continuous observations, Cassini revealed that Saturn's rings are more groovy than smooth. The rings were found to contain waves seemingly caused by the planet's gravitational disturbances. The data collected by the spacecraft helped define a possible source of Saturn's mysterious jeering. Furthermore, it indicated that Saturn's rings, entirely made up of water ice particles, contained small moonlets. The craft also helped scientists understand the process behind the formation of planets by observing the behavior of their rings. Music. Saturn has some of the most powerful storms in our solar system, so how could Cassini miss them? On October 25, 2012, Cassini witnessed the aftermath of the massive Great White Spot, a superstorm known to recur roughly every 30 years on Saturn. The storm spiked the levels of ethylene gas to 100 times more than those thought possible for Saturn, and it was the first of its kind to be observed by a spacecraft in orbit around the ringed planet. In 2013, Cassini shot the highest resolution video of Saturn's six-sided storm providing an insightful peek into its mysterious hexagon. The spacecraft also found evidence of seasonal patterns emerging at the planet's poles. For example, it found that the North Pole warmed by about 2.2 degrees Celsius during spring, while the South Pole cooled by 17 degrees Celsius during the fall. Cassini was initially planned to last for seven years, but it received several extensions during its lifetime. On April 15, 2008, Cassini received funding for a 27-month mission extension, followed by another in September 2010. By 2017, Cassini was running low on fuel, and this was where the grand finale began. It was Cassini's last daring assignment, 22 dives through the space between Saturn and its rings. Eventually, on its final orbit on September 15, 2017, Cassini plunged into Saturn, breaking up in its atmosphere and becoming part of it. In this bittersweet ending, data from Cassini was received for 30 seconds longer than anticipated, and the spacecraft's ultimate demise was predicted to have occurred within 45 seconds after that. Scientists and engineers chose this method to prevent biological contamination of any of Saturn's moons that are thought to offer potentially habitable environments.
The grand finale terminated Cassini's nearly two-decade-long historic mission, thereby ending an era of exploration. If you like this video, make sure to share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more.